This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So we're going to go through and just look at an additional type of question that could be asked as part of your objective test questions that looks at working out the theoretical X right price when the new shares that are issued are going to have a higher potential rate of growth into the future, so a higher rate of return than what the current shares are generating, okay? Uh, and that is referred to as your yield adjusted, okay? Theoretical X right price, because your yield is your return. And we're looking at these new shares generating a higher return. If they generate a higher return, then the right price, the yield adjusted X right price should be higher than the normal theoretical X right price, because we've not taken into account any performance of the, these new shares and the finance that is taken from these new shares and how that will impact the value of the business. So uh, let's go through and have a look at it and see how we can work it. Uh, the example there says calculate the yield adjusted theoretical X right price. So it's important that you read these questions. Don't work out the theoretical X right price. It wants the yield adjusted one. OK, be careful. Uh, so what have we got? Uh, well, it says a company has the following information, a whack, 12%. Well, why is that relevant? Well, effectively, that's your that's your current return, isn't it? That's what the shares are currently generating. Okay. Uh, corporate income tax, is it there at 30%? Uh, doesn't really make much difference there, but there we go. Uh it then goes on to say 250 million one dollar ordinary shares. So that's the amount of shares in issue. Uh, the current share price, if you're working out your X right price and also your yield adjusted X right price, you need to start with your current share price. That's that's a good start for two dollars twenty five, isn't it? Uh, the company announces is a one for four right issue. So based upon that, again, uh, we have is it four shares? One share and those four shares are at two dollars and twenty-five. Okay, just leave a little bit of space. Okay, as you will see why in a moment. So those shares that we own are worth is it the nine dollars? Okay. How much are we going to pay? Is it the for the new shares? Well, the new shares are at a discount of 10% to the current share price. So that will be 90% of the current share price. So that there is two dollars and two and a half cents. Okay, I'll leave it like that for the time being. You'll see why in a moment. Uh, what else are we told? It says the funds raised will be used to finance a project with an expected return of 14. And that 14 is, is higher than the current return. OK, so the way in which we're going to factor that in is that that new share or that new share, I should say, is going to generate a return of 14 percent. Compared to our previous 12 percent. OK, so therefore. Uh, that money that is invested is at two dollars and two and a half cents. The finance raised is going to generate that little bit more at 14 percent compared to what it was based on 12 percent. So what you're effectively doing is you're taking the 2.025 and dividing it by 12 to work out what each percentage point earns. And then we're now getting 14 percentage points and so multiplying it by the 14. If you tap that into your calculator, 0.14 divided by 0.12 times 2.025 gives me that is it 2.3625. Again, in the exam, I wouldn't be so accurate in terms of the rounding, uh, but that goes through there and gives you 11.3625. Okay. How many shares have we got? That's five. So if we're looking there, is it for my yield adjusted theoretical X price or X right price? It's the 11.3625. 
divided by 5 gives me there is that $2.2725, which is $2.27 if we round it down. Okay, excellent. $2.27. Or is it $2.28? Hotel, motel, who cares? Okay. Happy with that? Yeah. You know, the only thing that you need to adjust for is the old shares. Don't adjust the new. Just adjust the old shares. Because it those. Sorry, careful. Got them the wrong way around, haven't I? Good job I spotted that. Otherwise, I need to record it all over again. Okay. You only adjust the new shares. Forgive me, we're human after all. Uh, you only adjust the new shares because it's the new shares and the finance from the new shares that is going to generate that higher return, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Excellent. Uh, now, what you'll see there is as we've gone through and worked all of those examples for working out the X right price, the yield adjusted X right price, I've laid it out in a in a consistent manner. I think you can do that. Okay. Uh, if you like formulae. You're an accountant, a management accountant. You like numbers. You must do. Uh, you'll like formulae, I suppose. You've got formulae up there. Mm. But that then involves flipping through the, I'm going to say exam paper, but flipping through the exam, trying to find the formula sheet on, on the computer screen. Forget that. Okay. Uh, do like we've just worked it through. Okay. But if you like the formula, uh, you have them there. Okay. Uh, to work out the X right price and the yield adjusted X right price. Okay. Should we do one? Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just do it. Okay. Uh, so what you've got, we'll work out this one. The yield adjusted X right price is that there from example number four. Uh, so one over M plus one N is the number of shares that you currently own. So four. Uh, you need to be careful with your bracket. So it's four multiplied by the come right price. So is that $2.25? Uh, plus, is it there the issue price, which is 2.025 multiplied by 0 0.14 divided by the 0 0.12? Okay, it effectively just does what we've done there and puts it in a formula okay if you tap that into your calculator remember do the brackets first i think you should end up with exactly the same answer okay let's just check 0.14 divided by 0.12 times 2.025 excellent uh, plus open brackets four times 225 divided by five there we go magic 2.2725 same number as before. My only concern that I have there is there's too many brackets. I mean, there's too many brackets. You'll just make mistakes. Okay. Uh, so don't bother. Just use the way we've laid it out there. Okay. It's logical. It's formulaic. It's standardized. So work it through that way and see how you get. And if you don't like it, fine. I don't care. Use the formulae. But just make sure you get it right. At the end of the day... I, I don't care how you do it, as long as you get it right. I want you to get it right. So if you get it right using the formula, use the formula. If you get it right using the method that I've done, do it that way. Okay. So it's up to you to choose which you think is the best. Okay. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.